and welcome to Conspiracy Boulder. You're not a boulder, you're a rock! Welcome to Conspiracy Boulder News. I'm Michael Norright, anchor for the Conspiracy Boulder News Washington DC political desk. In this series, we highlight the wise and sage sayings of the esteemed congressman from Georgia, Henry Hank Johnson Jr. An attorney by training, Representative Johnson graduated law school in 1979, practiced law in Georgia for many years, and also served as a judge. Representative Johnson is in his fifth term in the U.S. Congress. On this day, carefully choosing his words, Representative Johnson invents an analogy where he pits a giant against little people, whom he repeatedly refers to as midgets. We will use his words only for illustrative purposes and realize the correct term is little people. For some unknown reason, Congressman Johnson envisions caged fights between a giant and 30 midgets. And he announces that the secret to domination and success for midgets, is in banding together, and acting in concert as a mob. Congressman Johnson seems confident that midgets can win if they band together. Let's have Mr. Johnson spell it out for us. What happens when you put in a cage fight a giant in with a midget? Well, the midget will not win the fight, I'm going to tell you that. Why? It just doesn't carry enough weight to do so. Um, but uh, if you put 30 midgets in with that giant, then the midgets have a chance. Now they have weight classes in cage fighting, so you're not going to find a situation where you have two or three against one. You'll just have equal weights. You'll have equally weighted combatants. And then they will go at each other and the, the, the best man will win, or woman. Now, the esteemed gentleman from Georgia explains why the M word is the new N word. Congressman Johnson apologizes for having used the M word, midget, to refer to little people, dwarfs, and other people suffering from the medical condition that creates abnormally small people or unusually small people. No, seriously. His words not ours. Good God. Watch along as this hole grows and grows. But now, we don't say the N-word, we say, we refer to that word as the N-word. And, uh, I had never heard of the M word, uh, Representative Shankowski, the M word. Uh, it's a word also that uh, describes a, a group of people. And uh, it at one time has been commonly used as a descriptive term. Uh, it was at one time socially acceptable uh, but to my um, discovery, uh, just within the last 12 hours or so, uh, I have found that the use of the midget, uh, excuse me, the use of the M word is no longer socially acceptable. Now, the, the M word refers uh, to uh, a group of people, the little people. And, but when we say little people, I'm not talking about the Leona Hemsley uh, little people. I'm not talking about the 47%. I'm not talking about the takers instead of the makers as some would uh, describe them. I'm not talking about the middle class, working people, poor people, working poor people. That's not what is meant by the little little people term. It, it really refers to uh, uh, a medical condition. Uh, dwarfism is uh, is the name of that medical condition. And sometimes I guess uh, 
one can can even say abnormally small people, abnormally small people, which to me is, uh, I like that term better than dwarfism. So uh, I wanted to say to all of those uh, who may have been offended by my use of the term, uh, the M word, I want you to know that uh, it was out of ignorance and not spite or hatred that I used that term. And, um, and please know that I will never use that term again. I'll never use that term again. Uh, it, it to uh, make people understand that um, there are those who are deeply offended by it and that we uh, should all learn um, what to say so as not to defend, uh, offend people. Well, and, and, and that's, that's correct. Uh, it's a learning moment for me and perhaps many others out there. Truly painful, wasn't it? I mean, I cringed and cringed and cringed. Ouch. And he just wouldn't filter or stop. I can only wonder what the rest of the world thinks when they realize that all of this is really happening in Washington, D.C. Conspiracy Boulder News will return after this break.